the main ingredient in cough syrup is an opioid-like compound called dextromethorphan. Cough medication containing this compound have been on the market for years. The first one was Romula, a dextromethorphan-containing tablet that was introduced in the 1960s. Romula was a replacement for codeine-containing medication since the latter were being abused. However, it did not take long for users to discover the psychoactive properties of Romula and began to abuse this as well. The drug was eventually withdrawn from the market and was later replaced with prescription-only codeine. Pharmaceutical companies decided to put dextromethorphan into cough syrup. However, this did not prevent users from ingesting a large amount of the syrup for its psychoactive effects. The National Poison Data System has shown that prevalence of abuse has doubled from 2004 to 2013. Following the ingestion of the dextromethorphan, it is metabolized to the active substance dextrophan, which is thought to be responsible for most of the psychoactive effects. It has a significant affinity for NMDA receptors and serotonin transporters. As in the case of PCP and ketamine, dextromethorphan and its metabolite can produce a dissociative reaction through non-competitive antagonism for NMDA receptors. When used recreationally, dextromethorphan is typically taken orally in the form of cough syrup or tablet. The standard dose for one use is 20 mg, however recreational users take 8 to 50 times higher. This is equivalent of drinking a quarter to two bottles worth. Heavy users ingest three to four bottles in one day. Excessive drinking can cause nausea and vomiting. Users have reported that the subjective effects of dextromethorphan occurs as a series of four dose-related plateaus. Low dose produced the first, which the user feels a mild euphoria and intoxication. The second stage requires a dose of 200 to 400 milligrams. At this stage, the user experiences visual hallucinations and is significantly more intoxicated. At stage three, with the dose around 300 to 600 milligrams, it yields a more intense hallucination, cognitive impairment and partial dissociation. The fourth and final stage, which is doses over 600 mg, the user experiences complete personality dissociation and delusion. These effects resemble those produced by PCP and ketamine. Furthermore, visual hallucinations as well as other subjective changes are typically also seen in hallucinogenic drugs such as psilocybin and LSD. Acute toxicity can occur not only in users who take extremely high doses, but also in small percentage of individuals who are genetically deficient in the metabolism of the drug. Extreme intoxication has been linked to psychotic reactions, violent behaviours and even death. The drug is not only used as a cough syrup, but has another therapeutic application in treating the condition called called pseudobullar effect, seen in a small number of patients with brain injuries and disease. It is characterized by episodes of laughing or crying that are incongruent with a person's emotional state. Researchers do not yet understand how the drug reduces the symptoms, although the mechanism may involve some combination of the drug's action on various molecular targets. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.